Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is part two of my 2023-2024 Erin Condren Life Planner launch. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking all things accessories. So full disclaimer, these items were gifted to me by the team over at Erin Condren, so just a very heartfelt thank you to them. I really appreciate it. I appreciate getting to take a look at these things and be able to share my thoughts and opinions with you guys on some of these items. Now, again, the affiliates were sent these like curated boxes so I didn't really get to like pick and choose what I would get and in my box the only thing that came uh, that was canvas was the actual uh, life planner in the horizontal now to my understanding is that there are little to no canvas themed accessories because they're sort of meant to be complemented by these sort of brighter colors from the inspire line and um, the other floral line which the name is escaping me right now but y'all know I'm not a floral person so I'm not highly concerned <laughs> But I think that that's great. However, as someone who really loves the canvas line and, you know, I also love the Inspire line, but would love to see a little bit more canvas love. Um, I think we're going to be okay, though, because there is the focused collection and, and all of those things are fairly neutral and minimal. And I think that you can pull from that line to add to your canvas planner if you really like all of this color is just too much for you. Okay, so let's jump right in. And I've kind of broken up things by category because that's just how my brain works. And again, this is a review, so I'm going to share some information about the products, but also my own personal thoughts and opinions. Take that however you want, but if you're if you're not new to my channel, then you know that I will always share a 1,000% honest review on how I feel about certain products. Let's jump right in. So first is a set of stickers, and you guys, I'm not gonna bore you with like nitty gritty details like price. You, you can find that on the website, by the way. I'll list the prices down below in the description if I happen to have time. But again, if you're watching this video, you're probably uh, fairly familiar with Erin Condren, right? So this is a set of stickers. It, these are the same stickers that come in the back of the Life Planner. So I don't have a Inspire 7x9 planner, but just to kind of give you an example, you can get essentially what is in the back of the planner uh, uncoiled outside of the planner, which I think is fantastic, honestly, especially if you really use these. Maybe you don't use like sticker shop stickers from Etsy and things like that, but you wanna like replenish your stash. You can literally get what's in the back of the planner separately. So you've got that page there. You've got the more functional page with the headers and the habit trackers, as you can see right there. And then the next one is going to be the birthdays and celebrations page. So now you get to see kind of the neutral version and the Inspire colorful version. And of course, the appointment labels. I'm not going to lie. When I first jumped into using Erin Condren like way back in the day in 2014, these were not my favorite. I feel like they've gotten better over the years. Like they, the matte texture has gotten better so that you can actually write on these stickers. I really enjoyed their sticker books over the years. I think that this is a brilliant idea to share these outside of the book, especially if you don't want to buy like an entire sticker book of stickers and you just need a couple of these essential functional stickers. I think that this is really, really great and I'm glad that they're offering it again this year. All right, now to keep with the theme of stickers, we have the designer sticker book. And honestly, you guys, I actually really love the design of this book this year. Again, this is in the Inspire line, which is a collaboration with Etta V, which is just absolutely stunning. So let's go ahead and take it out of the package. On the back of the packaging, you kind of get a preview of all of the pages that are offered. And I am a sucker for like really, really good packaging. So I think that this is great. A nice little change up from what they have traditionally offered. So it says inspire, motivate, plan, and like a rose gold foil color. And then it just kind of flips open and you get to see all of the stickers. And I think this is the first time there's been an actual like sticker book that flips like this. But again, it's in the Etta V design and the inspire artwork and it is just gorgeous. I do want to note though, that I love that there are some larger stickers, which is great for the compact vertical and the horizontal, if that's something that you are uh, looking for. And you've got some script stickers there in the traditional EC font with a whole bunch of asterisks. Some of you guys let me know that you were like over the asterisks. Asterisks? Why is that word so hard to say? Anyway, 
And I get it, but you guys, we finally got a break from mid-century circles, so we're going to take what we can get, right? So you've got some circles, again, some rectangular event boxes, which, I mean, these are going to be easy to write with a nice uh, marker while keeping that design there. And then again, some larger boxes. I love these because it kind of, to me, shows that you can use this in the other planners um, that exist in the line, like the compact vertical and the horizontal. And then you've got some more boxes, some decorative stickers, and so on. But I really like this. It's nice and compact and I mean you can shut it with just a little um, closure there at the bottom and then you're like good to go and your stickers aren't going to go flying everywhere. So I think this is super fun and I could definitely see myself using it. All right next up is a magnetic to-do list dashboard. Now I'll be honest this isn't probably something I would like be like I, I can't plan without it. It's cute. I think that you could add this to a nice sort of gift bundle for a friend or a co-worker. So you've got like Monday through Sunday on the front and then you've got a priorities and to-do list here. I think this could be great and maybe like whatever page you're on in your planner and just kind of have it there. This could also be better in a daily because you have the whole week right here, but I don't have a, um, a daily right in front of me. Actually I do. I have the daily duo right there. <laughs> But this is what it looks like in the 7x9 size. Now let's take a look at it in the planner that I just said I didn't have. And this is the A5 Daily Duo. Um, so it fits very well in both books. So again, I think this would be better in the daily just because, again, um, it has the Monday through Sunday right there. And it's very thick and very, very heavy. I will say that it holds pages. Let's see how many pages it can hold before it won't stay shut. It's still staying shut and I have, let's see, let's take this off of there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's, let's throw in eight pages there. That may be nine pages. Let's just go for 10 while we're here. This is a really strong magnet. <laughs> let's see. Oh, okay. It's, I feel like at 10, it's just kind of not holding. That's, that's pretty awesome. So 10 pages fairly easily there. I don't know why you would need to put 10 pages together, but it's cute. It's cute. I do like it. So that's how that looks in the Daily Duo. Okay, next up is the monthly petite planner in 18 months. And I gotta say, you can tell I already opened it because I just had to take a look. I actually really like this and I have a use for it. I'm super excited to sort of add this to like maybe the back pocket of my planner. Again, it's in that beautiful um, Edivy design and you've got some rose gold foiling on there that says monthly planner. Um, so let's, let's let's open this up. So you've got monthly petite planner and it is July 2023 through December 2024. And this is in the you know standard petite planner size from Erin Condren. The artwork is just absolutely stunning in this book. I can see why I would be using it and I could see how it would complement the neutral very, very nicely. So I think that they were spot on with how they did the accessories. At first I, I did feel a little jaded I was like, how could they? How could they <laughs> not have canvas accessories? But this is great. So of course you've got the year at a glance and some rectangular boxes. I'm not really sure what EC's deal is with just putting empty boxes. Like please put some dot grid in there. It's just a plain box. Um, I can't write straight to save my life. At least give me some dot grid. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so then you've got the month view. It is just a miniaturized version of what you're gonna get already in the Erin Condren planner, as you can see here. Um, they're actually quite similar in size, kind of, sort of. Now, the paper is not exactly the same. It is a little bit thinner in these petite planners, but it's not awful. I will say that I've used the petite planner for quite some time in the past and never really had a whole lot of issues with it. But essentially, you're getting the same thing. You do have the holidays on there. Um, the print, the artwork, the same. You've also got a notes column over here on the right. So this has all the months together in the front and we'll just kind of flip through these very quickly. I do love that it is 18 months. I can tell you right now that I'm already going to use this for um, some health and wellness tracking. I'm not a huge fan of the health and wellness petite planner that they have. It just has some things that I don't need and it doesn't have other things that I do need. So I feel like this is a nice um, compromise where I can use the months and then in the back I can sort of just uh, custom Customize it myself by drawing in some different uh, layouts, but y'all, May is my favorite. I mean, it's also my birthday month, so there's that. <laughs> 
All right, then you've got June and so on, and you're gonna get the additional six months at the back because again, it is an 18 month book. So then you've got a ton of lined pages here in the back. Again, you guys know what I'm gonna say, all together now, I wish it was dot grid. <laughs> However, I'll take what I can get, and I think that this is a nice little monthly book with a lot of notes pages, you guys. And then it just has the asterisks in different colors in the back. Doesn't totally bother me, but I would probably cover that up. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of having to have the asterisk on every single page, but I totally get it. It's their brand. I mean, they're going to do what they want to do, so... All right, and in the back, you have the entire calendar year for uh, 2025, along with more of those big open boxes. And then you've just got, of course, some brand information along the back with some beautiful artwork. Typically, the EC Petite Planners um, come with a sort of generic sticker sheet, unless it's a very specific book, like the Budget um, Compact Planner has budget-themed books and things like that. Um, you do have a nice little pocket back here, so those stickers will fit with no issues at all and then there you go but I think that this is great let's check out how it's going to fit in the back of the life planner pockets got a lot of things around me you guys I think that this is yeah this fits totally fine I mean would I worry about taking this in and out throughout the year sure this is already a big book you guys this is an 18 month um planner but I wouldn't keep all of these pages on here so as you can see that's what it's going to fit like in the back of your life planner in that back pocket if that's where you needed to keep it. Now the A5 po back pocket is going to be a problem so don't go trying to put this uh, petite planner back there because it's just not going to work guys. It's way too big. I'm not even going to try to destroy those pockets. But I would definitely recommend this. Um, this is a great book and I'm excited for it. I think I would have purchased this even if it wasn't part of the box that was sent. This is great. All right, now let's move on to some things that will go directly on the paper and that is the washi tape in the Inspire collection along with some of the writing utensils that are new this year in the Inspire collection. So I have got a set of the washi. I took it out because I thought it was gonna be absolutely adorable in this little bowl. Um, let me grab a ruler so I can show you guys exactly what this looks like. So you've got this sort of uh, purple and almost copper. It doesn't look rose gold to me. I know everyone's going to be like, it's rose gold. Um, but I don't, I don't know that it looks like rose gold to me, but I don't know. I could, I could be very biased because rose gold is not my jam. So here is what that little bit of washi looks like. Then you've got this beautiful Inspire pattern. I think this one's my favorite. Sometimes I do wish that they would go back to just putting these in washi duos instead of the sets of four or five washi tapes. This one is not wanting to cooperate. But uh, this is beautiful as well. I just, I don't know. I think I would want maybe just these two together and then these two together um, because I probably wouldn't go through these quite as fast could just be me could just be me uh, all right let's get this rolled out this is so so pretty love that and then you've got this beautiful green washi with I can't tell if the grid is black or blue let's see if I can tell a little bit better once it is rolled out it looks like navy to me it does look like navy I could be wrong you guys tell me if you've seen it or if you're one of the affiliates that has had a chance to review it I could very well be wrong <laughs> All right, and then the last one in the Inspire pattern, just kind of a different uh, colorway here, is this one. It's so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like a peacock with the color, but that's really, really beautiful. I'll just give you guys a closer look. Um, I think that these are great, especially if you use quite a bit of washi in your planners. Okay, next up, let's take a look at the writing utensils. This is the Eta V pen. It apparently comes with gel now, which is very exciting because I used to buy these pens year after year and whatever the current theme was, I do love the packaging. Again, not something I would like stampede over to the website for, but this is definitely more of a gift type of thing for me, but because it's Eta V, I'm, I'm definitely keeping this. It's beautiful. So it is a capped 
uh, pen, so it's not a click pen. It does have rose gold accents. I'll try to get a little bit closer there for you guys. Um, so if you love rose gold, this is definitely going to be up your alley. All right, let's let's check this out. I'm a little bit worried that that won't go on the cap. I don't think it's actually meant to go on the cap. Okay, maybe I'm not such a big fan because if that doesn't stay on there, that's going to mess up the weight of the pen. It like wiggles. It wiggles. <laughs> My camera is like, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, but I need it on there for balance. So let's see. Also, it's got a little uh, nib protector on there. Okay, so far not awful, I think. I think this pen needs a little bit warm, more warming up, but it's not awful. I appreciate that it's black ink. Thank you very much for that. Um, you know, I don't know. This is a nice desk accessory. I think that if you're not really needing this pen right away, then I mean, again, I think this is more of a gift, like type of accessory. I don't know. Um, I wouldn't need an entire set of these just to be quite honest. It's, it's a nice to have, not maybe necessary, but again, it's all personal opinion. So, <laughs> um, there is that. Now, they did come out also with a set of writing tools variety pack. Now, this is actually nothing new. It's just in a new wrap. So you can see here, it was actually in the Harmony Colorful set. I think that this is a really cool option. Again, probably more of a gift unless you really um, like using these. So these are all items that they have had on the site. It's just like different different packaging, like the candles at Bath and Body Works. You know what I mean? So let's take a look at the dual tip markers. They do have the colors on the back of the packaging, but you guys, I mean, I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not going to do all that extra stuff. So you've got this peach color and I'm just going to kind of go over it twice because I feel like it's going to be a little bit hard to see um, from so far away. Let's get this way. And then I do think that this is slightly different than the dual tip markers because I think the no, no, the dual tip markers don't have a chisel tip. But what is interesting <laughs> on the packaging, it looks like it's trying to say that it has a chisel tip, but this this, my friends, is not it's not a chisel tip. It's definitely like just a thicker pointed tip. So I don't know. That could be a little um, a little confusing. I don't know. They probably should have just put a thicker. I don't, you know, it's it's just little things. <laughs> All right, let's move on to this really pretty purple color. I like this one a lot. I do like this one a lot. I have a feeling this green is going to be super, super light. I keep opening the wrong side. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I thought it was gonna be too light to see, but that's actually quite nice. And then you've got the fine tip. That's really, really nice. Oh, I thought this was black. It's indeed navy. Okay, okay. Um, so we get no black. Maybe we get it in this other set over here. So you get a uh, chisel tip highlighters and dual tip markers. So these are the highlighters. They look like they are a matching set. Now these are definitely, this is chisel tip. That's, that's for sure. Let me see if I can get this to focus. That's for sure a chisel tip. All right. Now let's look at this pink color. Really like that one a lot. And the purple, this is, these are some gorgeous colors. Gorgeous. Um, let's go in order because my heart will like that. <laughs> Then we've got the blue and then, of course, the navy. I think it's interesting to call the navy a highlighter. I don't really see how you would highlight with that. It's super dark, you guys. It's pretty dark. But I like these. These are great. Um, I probably would have would have ordered these regardless. So I think that these are going to be a great addition just to have in my marker collection. So I think I would recommend these. I like the color variation a lot. It's a little bit... Um, just fun with this theme, you know, and like, why not? So that is it for the pens and markers. I've got quite the mess around me. Let me clean some of this up. All right, let's move on to the zippered accessories. That, that's just what I'm gonna call them, you guys. That's what I'm gonna call them. And I have, I have some thoughts about these things. Yeah, let, let's just get right into it. So first off, we have the accordion pouch in the Inspire collection. I'm not going to lie, this design, in my opinion, could have been done a little bit better to sort of 
go along with the rest of the Inspire uh, collection. Again, this is these are my thoughts and opinions. All right, so here we go. I, I love the zipper. The zipper is a really good quality. I've opened and closed this thing like 10 times already. Um, I, there's no catching. The zipper's uh, gold, obviously. Um, my thing is I would have liked to have seen this pattern a little bit bigger. The pattern doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense with the size of this pouch, right? And this is a fairly uh, large accordion pouch. I have the one from the Focused collection here and you can see that there is a size difference. And what I would have liked to have seen is you see how there's the middle pouch as a color? That would have been really cool to see that in the Inspire collection, to have the middle be a color and to have the design on both sides. The side is plain. On the Focus collection, you get the design on both sides, and you see how it's like evenly distributed on the pouch. Here, it just feels like this. This is, it's just too small. It's just, again just a design thought on on my end. Um, do I think it's great? I I love that it's part of the Inspire collection. Absolutely. So it is again a larger size. So let's show some examples of what can actually fit in here. So the monthly um, the monthly planner kind of you know you got to kind of be careful getting this in and out of there. But I mean honestly it's not too bad if you don't put tabs at the top and the bottom you could get that in there. Obviously all kinds of pens and markers are going to fit in there just fine. So I don't think you're going to have a problem there. Now, will your A5 planner fit in there? Like, I, I don't know. That's that's not going to work. So that's that's where we're at with that. I think that this is a great size. Again, it's more of the aesthetics of it. I was kind of like, mm, this seems like it's not finished. Not finished. <laughs> All right, next up is the Planny Pack. This is nothing new to Erin Condren. This is just now in the Inspire line. This one in particular does have rose gold accents. So if you love rose gold, that's definitely going to work for you. It's got this sort of um, almost peach uh, elastic strap there. Let's take this off of here and get that out of the way. So this is what that looks like. Now let's see what the interior looks like. This is my first time opening this one. So it does have that peach interior. But again, what I love is that they kept the Etta V, um, Erin Condren like collab info like on the actual tag, which I think is kind of neat. So there you go. In the front is where you can put things like your pens and markers if you wanted to. You could probably even um, take this little magnet here <laughs> and put that on there as well if you wanted to. There's a lot of different ways that you can use this. I've actually used this as an electronics pouch before when traveling. Um, you can fit all kinds of post-it notes and things like that in there. It does have two pockets on the inside so you can kind of organize your things and again you could always put your like markers and pens in there. I probably put them in this pocket right here. I don't know. They don't really stay up in there either. But again, I wouldn't be too worried about that. I'd probably be that person that just tosses everything in here anyway. <laughs> but I do love the design of the bag. This is just really, really pretty. I think they just knocked it out of the park with the Inspire collection. All right, now let's 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 talk about this thing. So it is the new folio. I do have a list pad in here because I wanted to show you how some things fit in here. I, I probably have a very very different of opinion compared to a lot of people that have already seen this item or have seen previews of this item. I'm not a fan. This is not for me um, for so many reasons. I don't really like the material at all. I wish that they would have stuck with the neoprene material. That feels a little bit uh, less like it's going to get dirty quick. This is definitely a very... Uh, not canvas, canvas isn't the right word because it's not this same material, it's almost thinner. Um, it is definitely well made, the stitching is great, all of that stuff, but mine is for the A5. Now here is my issue, let's, let's take this out. So last night I went ahead and put the A5 Daily Duo in here and I instantly just felt like, okay, first of all, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't close. Coil is already so big, it's just, I think about what the Daily Duo is going to, how it's going to chunk up over time if you use stickers and washi. Um, not a whole lot of things will fit in here besides the one Daily Duo. If you go ahead and start adding, you know, your list pad and, you know, let's grab some pens and some markers because you definitely can fit a list pad in here. Um, but once you do that on this page, it's going to be kind of hard to put pens and stuff back there. But that's kind of a cute little variation there. Now my thought was, because I do worry about the, um, 
the tabs and stuff, they do go, let's move the zipper out of the way. That's how much room you have. Um, I think it's a fair amount of room. I'm just not a fan of the zipper uh, closure and the material. Again, I just, I don't like the materials. I think it needed to be a little bit thicker, a little, a little bit thicker for the coils. So along here, along the spine. Now, what I think would be nice is just having this more like a pad folio situation where you have, you know, your list pad over here. You've got like some cards and things that you can keep in this pocket, right? I just kind of grabbed some extras that I had, and then maybe you can grab a pen or two and put some of those things in there. You could also go with an A5 notebook that has a smaller coil, um, something like that. And then I could honestly see the smaller notebook. And let me see if I have one within arm's reach of me. So you could really take like an A5 notebook. Again, the coil is much smaller in comparison to <laughs> the A5 Daily Duo. Um, so I would probably use this more for a notebook and the list pad could still stay in there. And I feel like it would close a little bit, like it have a little bit more faith in it um, being closed and the notebook doesn't have tabs or anything like that so you don't have to use this for a planner and if I were to use this I would probably use it in this way for a notebook and a little list pad and some notes and some cards so there is that on the new uh, folio okay now let's move on to some snap-in accessories and this is where I was like holy cow these are my new favorite things um, <laughs> Ever. Ever. No. <laughs> I've always loved the snap-in mini bookmarks or the mini snap-in bookmarks if you want to get technical. These, of course, again, are in the Inspire collection. So they do come in these three beautiful uh, designs here. I just think that they're stunning. And again, I see now why they say, like, this is just such a nice compliment to the very, very minimalistic um canvas line because I just I agree um, I think I like the pink one the most but it also comes with this more turquoise based theme and this purple one as well but I think that they're going to be great complements to the canvas line all right the next snap-in accessory is this universal snap-in dish dashboard I love 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 the size of this thing I love that it's nice and wide it's going to be easy to write on and you can pretty much just put it anywhere in your planner that you need. Let me get this on here. Um, and I think one of my favorite things from EC is their snap-in accessories. It is slightly taller than the pages in your planner, so you can kind of also use it as a bookmark. You don't have to bulk up your planner with a ruler and a mini bookmark and this thing. You can put them in different places throughout your planner, which I think would be really fun. So the front of it has a priorities and to-do list, and you can use, a lot of people just use Sharpie on these things, you guys, because Sharpie will come off with a um, alcohol um, and I feel like it lasts longer and won't transfer over on your pages so like I said you do have the priorities and the to do this does have some gold foiling on the pages and then on the back you have that nice Monday through Saturday um, list here which I think is great because this is where you could put your meal plan if you didn't have space in your planner so that's how it looks in the seven by nine Let's take a look at how it's going to look in the A5 because I know you guys might be curious and guess what? They made it so that these uh, bookmarks and rulers and things like that are fairly universal and what I like about this is that you kind of get a bottom bookmark and a top with the A5. So if you're someone who wants to reach for your pages from the bottom, it sticks out ever so slightly from the bottom. In fact, it's pretty even at the top as well, but you can use it as a bookmark as well in the A5. So I think that that's really cool. Okay, and last but certainly not least, and I'm just going to let you guys know right now that this is my favorite accessory of this entire launch, and I can honestly say I probably love it more than the actual planners. This has been the most functional, ingenious product I have seen come out from EC in a very, very long time, and that is the Snap-In Pocket Dashboards. I will be buying 10 of these on launch day. Thank you. Um, <laughs> So these come in a set of three. Um, these are just genius. And the reason why I love these is because I know I'm going to be using these everywhere, in my planners, in my notebooks, like everywhere. Um, I do believe that these are not going to be an option in A5. Um, kind of sucks, but maybe it's something that they will think about when they see how popular these are. So essentially these are a coiled 
um, dashboard that has a pocket in the front and in the back. And you're probably like, well, what the hell would I use that for? So first of all, let's, let's snap it in. Let's start there. And I will say this, the thickness of the plastic is the same thickness as the ruler. So this is going to be meant to move around within your planner. And again, this is going to be great to like pop in those sticker sheets. Like, I think that this is perfect, you guys. I am just like what in the world these are so good oh my gosh you can put your sticker sheets in here um this one will stick out a little bit but i think i used to cut these off this is like the extra stuff from the back in the day when they used to put this giant barcode up here but you can put your sticker sheets in here um let me just tell you that i've already thought about taking this pocket and putting like a planner spot pocket on the top of it because i like layers right i just love them so much but you can put all kinds of stickers and things like that the other thing that you can do is take one of these list pads from Erin Condren and tuck the back of the list pad in here right and now you have your list pad in your planner and you can take it in and out and move it around from your planner and you can do the same thing like put different stickers in the back if you wanted to but if i just want to always have a list pad with me whether it's in my planner or my notebook i can move it around i think another favorite thing that i love about these is that that they do come in a set of three and that they also have a tab. I feel like these will get more broken in as I move them around throughout the planner. But does it stick up a little bit? Sure, but if you really need a list pad with you, I mean, is that really gonna be a problem? And honestly, that little rainbow with the contrast of the, oh, you guys, I love it. Okay, so there's that. And like I said, it comes in a set of three and the actual tabs are staggered. So you can put all three in a note notebook if you wanted to or all three in your planner I am just like this is probably one of my favorite things in the world you could put some cards in here you could put a photo collage in here so that you can move it around from planner to notebook if you wanted to um, again I would probably use these a lot in my notebooks but I know that I will at least have one in my planner at all times it is slightly shorter than the pages I will say that much and again I just want to emphasize that it's the same plastic thickness as the ruler so this is really meant to be taken out and put back in and taken out and put back in and it's just you can tell that they're gonna last the plastic is very durable it is clear it is not frosted it looks frosted because there's two pockets but I think I think that this is yeah this is without a doubt my favorite accessory and I think it's wonderful and you guys are gonna love it just as much as I do all right, guys, that is it for my look at the new Erin Condren accessories, just a few of them. I'm sure that there's gonna be more on launch day, so you'll definitely wanna keep an eye out for that, but these are just some of the accessories that were sent to me to share with you guys. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts about some of these items. I know that you're probably just excited as I am, but again, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you are already subscribed, make sure you click that notification button bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.